What's up everyone? Pika Joe here and today we are going to be doing a video about the rarity or class of each Pokemon card. Now you may be wondering first, what is a rarity? What do you mean by class? In the, today's video I'm going to be explaining what that is and I'll be telling you each rarity and each class. I'll be giving you examples of Pokemon cards to help you understand what I'm saying. Now first, a resource that I'm going to be using to help you today is this, Pokemon Trading Card Breakdown Guide. If you didn't know, you could get these from the Pokemon Trade and Play Day. Now, they ha like on the back it says a guide, so you can pause it if you want to read it. And on the front, it tells you each rarity of a trading card. Here, explained, this is called the rarity symbol. Now, as you can see, once this rarity symbol over here, it's talking about this, the star. That right next to right next to the rarity symbol is the number in the set, and all the way on the bottom left is the expansion symbol. So make sure it's on the bottom left all the way to the right. Now, I'm gonna teach you about each class, but when I say class, there's common, uncommon, rare, ultra rare, full art, and rainbow rare, hyper rare, or secret rare. They're the exact same thing. But I'm gonna be teaching you all about each one. First, let's start off with the common. This is a common Pokemon card. The reason you can tell it's a common Pokemon card is because it says it with circle. The circle means that it's a common Pokemon card. And you can look at this for any Pokemon card created. There'll be a circle, a diamond, or a star. Circle is common, diamond or square is uncommon, and star is rare or above. Now, this is a uncommon. Now you can tell it's an uncommon because it has the diamond or square in the bottom left all the way to the right. So that's how you know it's an uncommon. But now, when you're thinking uncommon, you're like, okay, so it's uncommon, so it's still got to bring some money, right? No. An uncommon is still considered bulk with the common. They just have the different symbols because imagine that an uncommon is a little bit better in the common by like damage or HP or whatever. But you get mostly commons in a booster pack with some uncommons, one rare, and a reverse. The reverse can be a rare, common, or uncommon. Next we have a rare. This is an ore beetle. Now you can tell that it's a rare because in the bottom left corner all the way to the right you see a star. The star means that it's a rare. Next, I'm going to show you what an ultra rare is. This is an ultra rare card. This is a Morpeko V. Now, you know it's an ultra rare because in the bottom left corner, all the way on the right, you see a, you see a star that's shining. As you can see, it shines. It's going, it's, sometimes the color might not only be like this, or it might be black. But as you can tell, it is shining. And it's a star, which means that it's an ultra rare. All the ultra is, is it's like a GX, EX, Mega, V, or VMAX. But, because the star shines, you can tell that it's an ultra rare. And because it, it looks cooler than the most cards. Next up, we have a full art. This is a full art card. Now, it has the same shine just like the ultra rare, but the reason you can tell it's a full art is because first, when you take out the card, you can notice it shines a lot. Second of all, it has a rough texture. Third, the whole, the background, as you can tell, does not look like the more Peko V background. It's not like a regular plain, it's not like a regular normal habitat background. This is something cool for designs. And as you can kind of tell, it's a full art. The whole card shows this Eldegoss. Another reason you can tell it's a full art sometimes is because the card itself looks much cooler. 
Now, that's kind of controversial, but you can kind of tell that full arts and ultra rares look different. On the right, this is the Morpeko V, and on the left is the Eldegoss full art. You can kind of tell how the full art looks much different. Next, we have Rainbow Rare. This is a Rainbow Rare Lycanroc GX. This card is a Rainbow Rare because first, it looks rainbowy, which was the first hint that it's a Rainbow Rare or Hyper Rare or Secret Rare. And next, in the bottom left corner on the right, same stars ultra rare, but look at the number. 156 out of 145. 156 means that it, as you can tell, that doesn't make sense because only 145 cards in the set. This is one. This is number 156. That's because a secret rare, rainbow rare, hyper, however you call it, is not actually in the set. It's above the actual set. So you can tell over there that this card is above the actual set, meaning that's a rainbow rare. So that's that's pretty nice. Now, I hope you understand about each type of class of Pokemon card, starting from common to uncommon to rare to ultra rare to full art all the way up to rainbow rare. This this now you will under, now you understand each class of Pokemon card, and now you should know that these cards are much more rare than these three cards. Also, I would like to tell you all about my Pokemon card giveaway. If you haven't heard about my giveaway yet, it is my first Pokemon giveaway, and it's going to be th to the road to 100. Once we reach 100 subscribers on the channel, we will be giving away all of the cards you see in that video. It will be right up here in the eye. Also, it will be in the, in the video down here in the bottom so if you want to go check out this video right over here and you want to get into a giveaway tap on this video right there okay guys smash the like button subscribe to the channel and we'll see everyone in the next video and just last but not least here's one more look at the card bye Shh.